Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're talking about Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 11, Carnage. Hey everybody, my name is Frank Cassina. As always, I'm your host here on BK's Bullets and today we're talking about Carnage. So Ultimate Carnage is very different from regular Carnage, right? Um, so let's just recap for a second so I can give you a better overall picture. In the regular Marvel Universe, Venom is a symbiote, alien, comes from outer space, meets Peter, uh, gloms onto Peter, goes to Eddie Brock, and there's a piece of Eddie Brock's uh, symbiote that lands in prison and goes on this guy named Cletus Cassidy, who's a serial killer, and then you have Carnage. In the Ultimate Universe, Venom is a formed uh, medical experiment from Peter's dad and Eddie Brock's dad, goes on to Peter, then goes on to Eddie, drives Eddie crazy, disappears, he dies, we don't really know what happens to him after that, and then Carnage is kind of coming from that, but we only really get a hint that it's actually tied to that work. Um, so what happens in here is you have Peter meeting Dr. Connors after getting hurt really bad in a fight, and he gets Dr. Connors to fix him up. And Doc Connors looks at him. This is the guy he's fighting, the razor blade dude. Um, says, oh my gosh, your blood's incredible. Can I study it? You know, um, Promise I won't do anything crazy. And Peter's like, yeah, sure, why not? And it turns out that they do do something crazy. They take some of Peter's dad's old work and put it into this into Peter's blood, and that's what creates the carnage entity. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a symbiote, but it's not really a symbiote. It's more of like this weird. It like starts to form its own body, uh, and then it goes looking for a host. Basically, not a host, but something to to live off of. Right? Uh, needs more energy or whatever. It's trying to fix itself, trying to heal itself, and it turns out it's looking for Peter's DNA. So it's using. It's got like his memories that we catch some flashbacks of, like we figured this out. It's not told story storytelling wise, like in words so much as pictures. And that's the fun of comics, people. You can figure things out by looking at pictures as opposed to being told everything. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it's looking for Peter. It goes to his neighborhood. And unfortunately, it meets one of our newer characters, Our one of our, they were becoming our favorite character, considering like, you know, they found out Peter was Spider-Man at the end of the last volume, and it felt like, oh man, this is going to be a really cool, interesting group of dynamic. And then only to be killed. Uh, big bummer. So, spoilers, I guess, for a 20-year-old book? Gwen Stacy dies. Yeah, this is where Gwen Stacy dies. Um, that sucks. <clears throat> I, I liked Gwen. She was kind of starting to become interesting here as she talks to Mary Jane. Like, There's one really moving scene here where she's talking to Mary Jane at the mall, and they're just talking to each other over three pages like, hey, you know you don't have to worry with, about me and Peter, right? Like Gwen's telling Mary Jane this, that I don't like him, not in that way. He's like a brother to me. And then you can see like, oh man, this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And then later on that issue, Gwen is snuffed out and taken away from us. And it's just tragic. Um, Peter, you know, feels really responsible because this thing is carnage, has killed people at the lab. It's killed, you know, Gwen Stacy. And he finds a way to basically, he thinks he destroys the thing. We'll find out, I guess, in a future volume if he does or doesn't. But at the end of this, there's Ben Riley here. This, that, this guy right here is our ultimate Ben Riley, And he's still got a vial of Peter's blood. So we will see what happens to that in the future. But this is a really tragic storyline. Um, I did like the fact that they took the last issue to kind of close up the aftermath of Gwen's death. You have all of our main characters, our high schoolers, in detention on Saturday school, and they're mad. They're talking to each other. They're making, you know, they're working out all their emotions and things like that. Flash is going through it a little bit, and I think Mary Jane figures out why he wanted to talk to him. Like a couple issues uh, or you know volumes prior, Flash had been trying to talk to Peter, trying to get him to help him do something, and Peter's like, "Fuck off, man! Like I don't need you. You treat me like dog crap. Like why should I do you any favors?" And then um, we finally figure out, like, oh, he might have liked Gwen, and that's why he was trying to get Peter to, like, hey, can you talk to her for me or figure out if she's interested in me? Like, that whole teenage angst thing. Um, so I don't really know if that turns out to be the case. 
But reading that issue, that's what it feels like. And then Peter at the end has a Spider-Man no more kind of thing of like, I'm not going to be Spider-Man anymore. And he's still, he's like walking the street. He hears a mugging and he cannot stop himself, but like pulling his shirt up over his um, nose and going to stop this mugging. He beats the crap out of these guys. He's like, go change your life right now because he's so mad. And then kind of ends that issue of like, oh, I'm still going to be Spider-Man. And that kind of hangs over him. So it's kind of a really heavy volume. And honestly, like, as kind of bummer as it is that Gwen's dead, I really like the way that this is told and really the impact it has on the characters in this volume is really heavy and really well done. So bravo to Bendis and Bagley, still kicking it on, what is this, 60 to 65? Yeah, 65 issues so far. Um, so yeah, almost halfway to Stan and Jack's record of the Fantastic Four. So we'll cover that in a future volume, right? But um, <clears throat> yeah, Carnage, I, I like this storyline as, as much as I didn't like losing Gwen so soon after we started to get to know her, uh, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think of the death of Gwen Stacy in the Ultimate Universe down below here in the Carnage volume. We'll see you guys next time in the Funny Pages.